Greetings all, the practitioner here. I'd like to make an addendum to my previous video, Should Government Interfere in Science? A couple of comments came across by Playmaker, pointing out that the study that I was concerned about was uh, over 14 years old, and also happened in the United States. Playmaker, what I was trying to address was that regardless of where or when the study happened, as you pointed out, the peer review process was more than capable of dissecting the issue, and um, the study itself was replicated. So my concern is not so much that the um, government even is funding science, but the fact that governments tried to intervene on a scientific study in the first place. I'm seeing similar patterns of this happening here, up here in Canada, where the Department of Fisheries and Oceans um, uh, has been muzzled by the Privy Council Office, uh, to wit Dr. Christy Miller's work has been, and Dr. David Tarasek has been muzzled by Environment Canada from speaking about how the ozone hole in 2011 was the largest in recorded history. So... My question is, if government is funding science, should government uh, adopt the, um, the findings of science into their policy, regardless of whether or not it's inconvenient, and should uh, government actually be taking a step back and allowing science to do its job? That's what I'm getting at uh, by pointing out this study. Uh, I'm just simply saying that there seems to be a history of this in Canada, the United States, and elsewhere. Um, well, at least Canada and the United States so far. And uh, that this needs to stop. At least that's my own personal opinion of it. Take it for what you will. This is The Practitioner, signing off.